Well, hello! This is Gmodism Gmod Nerdery channel, and we will do a tutorial of how to make a rotary gun controller. Um, so, this is basically a wired board with the function to uh, activate six cannons in a row. So, you can uh, rotate around different cannons and that's basically because if you have very large ACF cannons with long loading speed this is very handy. So we, I will show you this in action first. Okay. Now we can see they are loading, firing first. Now all of them are loading, and it will be a while since uh, they start to load again. But the purpose of this is that you can uh, make them fire in a quite steady stream. So, we start again. So this cannon is the most heavy caliber cannon and I mean the force of this is just immense. So well let's build. So let's spawn a prop. We need some kind of board. So we're just going to take a just a nice computer or something. That's nice. And now we want to go into gates. So this is basically a wire tutorial of how to make a rotary gate so that you can fire guns in a more steady stream when the loading speed is very slow. So the first gate we want is under memory gates and that's the up down counter. So we're going to choose a nice model Nice, large, and visible. Up, down, counter. And then we want to go into whoops, comparison gates and equal. So then we're going to take these large bars um, and we are going to do you can make them as many as you want. We're going to do a four. So we want four gates like this. And we want a constant value, which we will have, we will have four values on it. So just decrease it to four. And you want them one, two, three, four. That's what you want. And now we're going to gates again. And we're going to Artemic gates. And we're going to have end add. Because if we just connect the cannons to this one when we wire them up, they will continue firing. So you can't like switch cannon. So if you just leave it on one, it will continue firing. Um, so that's why we need these and add gates. You will understand later uh, into this tutorial. I understand it's messy when I say it like this, but hey, we just spawn the gates now. So just spawn the exact gates I spawn here if you want to build it. So. Um, and then we want a delay gate, and uh, that's under time gates. Uh, you want a delay gate because um, otherwise you, we will have a problem with uh, the reset. Also for this purpose, we want a equal gate again. So let's find them on the comparison gate and equal. Just take a little gate here. 
so done. Um, and this is uh, unnecessary to spawn, um, but if uh, as I'm building this, it will be much simpler if we have some indicators that tell when these are on and off. Or actually, um, yeah, we're going to spawn indicators. You don't have to have indicators. It's just uh, so we can see it's functioning. And the indicators we start with connecting with the wire tool, just like that. We also want a button. Um, or actually, you know what we we will do with this simpler. We will have a. Uh, we will go to gates, and we will have a add gate. Just a regular whoops, add gate, um, and this will basically be the trigger. Uh, so you can, you know, set the firing button. Because as you understand, with this rotor gate, I only use one button to circulate. But uh, we have this add gate, and we can spawn a button for demonstration purposes uh, and then you can like remove it that's the wrong buttons uh, remove the buttons later so we just connect it into advanced pod or something so let's choose a nice gate like that and it should uh, not be toggled it should be value on one value of zero so, um, we connected the add gate to the button, so the button will functioning while we test this. Now, let's wire this up. We shall have increasement on this add gate, and we want to calculate on the add gate. Then, we want to have Every A of these equal gates on the up down counter. And B we should connect to one, the second B to two, the third B to three, the fourth B to four. It's really simple. And then we will connect the reset to the equal gate and A of the equal gate we should connect back to the up down counter. B we should connect with four, so that's the last. And then we will reset the counter. Um, though reset should not be connected to the equal gate because then it won't have time to fire the fourth round. So reset should be connected to the delay gate, like that. And calculate should be connected to the equal gate. And delay, which is the time which it will count, will be connected to one. So, We are connecting A to this one, like all the add gates, because these uh, end add gates, it is those we will connect up with the guns. And we will connect every B to this regular add gate. And that's basically to make the burst short, so it won't hold the gun. So you if you don't want to continue fire when you leave it. So now we will test if we have connected up everything. Like that. Isn't that nice? It's 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 as simple as that. And it's possible 
there is a much simpler way to do this, but uh, or just uh, type in some code in E2. But um, this is a Y ray that is working. Bang, 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 bang. So that's basically it. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. So, uh, well, it works like a charm. And uh, now I will show, uh, I will prove to you that this works. So I will connect in some guns on it. And oh, don't forget, you need to save this in your advanced duplicator. It's nice. So this creation I call a rotary gun gate or rotary gun board. And well, basically you will connect in all your four cannons or if you have more sets of these, of course that's possible. You understand how you will make more um, guns to it. But every gun you connect to each of these ones. So this has the capacity of four guns, as I said. And uh, the trigger you connect to this add gate if you don't want to use the button, of course. So that's basically how you, how you wire, wire it up. And now I shall connect in some nice uh, short barrel cannons, I think. Okay, so you connect in the cannons like this, as I said, onto these. On to this, and the last one to this. And I think I we had a shot in gun, but uh, yeah, I basically made this four short cannon, hundred millimeter, and I have a box with twenty shots here. I accidentally loaded the first one. That's yeah, we load the other ones like that. See how nice they are loading. Like that. And now we can test it. Like this. Okay. Isn't that nice? It's just so fast. For being 100 meter, I mean, this is four times faster, of course. So, well, I guess that's basically it. I hope this tutorial will be useful, and I hope you will increase your payload of your creations with this. Well, if you like this content, please subscribe and like this video. And, well, thanks for watching. Gmodism out.